Hello, this is Dr. Mark Mirvali, Professor of Theology and Mariology from the Franciscan University of Steubenville in Steubenville, Ohio. I am here in Ireland with Anne the Lay Apostle, and we will be speaking about the spiritual movement of the Lay Apostles of Jesus Christ the Returning King. It is important to keep in mind that all the messages that Anne has received have been released with the permission of the local bishop, Bishop Leo O'Reilly from the Diocese of Kilmore, Ireland, and have been submitted to the Vatican Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith for examination. Each and every dimension of this apostolate is completed in submission and in obedience to the local bishop and to the magisterium of the Catholic Church. And this message of September 24, 2004 returns us to the theme of suffering. Mm -hmm. I want to read the message and ask for your comments. Jesus tells us, I do not spare my friends, it is true. If you are my friend, you will know suffering. Through your sufferings, you will know me. I will visit you with grief, perhaps. I may visit you with hardships and trying situations. Perhaps you will know me in sickness or emotional difficulties. If you are my friend, you will know suffering. So why do I do this? Why do I allow my dear servants pain and suffering when truly I am the all-powerful God who can literally abduct the wind if I choose? My dearest little slaves, I am the king, but my kingdom is not of this world. This world belongs to me, of course, and I am ultimately in control of it, as you will see in your future. But you would not give an infant a book on the divinity of Christ. It would be meaningless to that infant. First, you must teach that infant to read. Before that, you must nurture the infant with physical nourishment and a great deal of love. Only then will the infant become predisposed to cooperate with the learning process that must occur to learn to read. There is indeed a great deal that must occur before a subject of my kingdom can study the divinity of Christ. Let me give you another example. The infant, as he is learning to walk, often looks up to his mother and says, carry me. Often you will hear a mother say, no, my little one, I prefer that you walk. Could the mother lift the child into her arms? Of course she could. What reason could a mother have for allowing her child to walk? Is the case not often that the wise mother wishes her child to learn to walk properly and then to run? To do so, this mother understands that her child needs to exercise the muscles needed to complete these acts. Well, I am like the wise mother. I understand that in order for my friends to experience divinity and the life of the divine to the fullest, they must learn by exercising their spiritual muscles. The more you do so, the more you will experience in heaven. You are not competing with each other. You are learning to love me. You are each created to love me in a different way, and those lessons are learned each day in your trials and challenges. Like the wise mother, I do not leave you toddling along by yourself when you are unsteady. I will never leave you, but you must learn. Do not begrudge me your sufferings, little souls. You cannot begin to imagine their value. So Anne, spiritual muscles, mm -hmm. images of mothers and children, mm -hmm. not begrudging our sufferings. Mm -hmm. Tell us. I, I, my 14-year-old son has been working out the Christianity question in his head. And the one day he said to me, well, you know, I'm giving this some thought. He said, it seems to me that it's be a Christian, suffer horribly. Be a Christian, <laughs> suffer horribly. And he said, yeah, I don't know. It's real tricky, Mom, you know? <laughs> so I was thinking about that, and I said, well, let's look at it this way. Um, don't be a Christian, suffer alone. Yeah. Abandon Christ, reject Christ, suffer alone. Right. The human condition demands that we suffer. If you ask anyone toward the end of their life, have you experienced grief, hardship, trying situations, sickness, emotional difficulties? The key to this is that the Lord says, perhaps you will know me in sickness or emotional difficulties. The key is knowing Jesus Christ. This is a privilege and an honor, which, as you know, often doesn't feel like a privilege and an honor. Any woman giving birth, if somebody began to lecture her on the privilege and the honor she was experiencing, it wouldn't go well for them at that moment. Mm -hmm. 
right afterwards, clearly they could embrace the privilege, of course. The other thing here is important is this. Study the, my, you, there is indeed a great deal that must occur before a subject of my kingdom can study the divinity of Christ. And that is so beautiful. One of the things that I believe must occur before we can study the divinity of Christ is that we study and focus on the humanity of Christ, how Christ lived out the humanity. This is the lay apostle call. Number five in our guidelines is that we treat other, others with his kindness you know, his compassion as reflected in Holy Scripture. So that's one of the things that has to be done. There's another important line that would, you know, could, um, uh, can help us to consider is that he says, you're not competing with each other. Mm -hmm. You are learning to love me. Now, in the spiritual walk, it's not good to measure yourself against anyone else. I mean, mm -hmm. people can think that they're holier because they say more rosaries. Well, this isn't the way it goes. That saying the rosary is powerful, beautiful, and it helps me each day. Um, I think it's what we need to do at, during this time to keep ourselves connected to our beautiful mother. However, I also believe that we can't compare ourselves to anyone. We're, not, we're all learning to love Jesus in different ways according to our lives. So suffering with Jesus, um, it, first you must teach the infant to read. How do we teach each other to read? through the example of love. He said, this is what we have to learn. Before we can learn all these things, we have to learn to love on a kindergarten level. And the lessons they taught us in kindergarten, you know, we need to focus on as grown-ups. Right. And, and so this, this, this common example that our Lord gives us of, of a child who is, wants to be picked up by the mother, mm -hmm. and um, the mother says no. At first, that can sound kind of harsh. What's, mm -hmm. what's wrong with the mother? Mm -hmm. and, my mind goes to times when we suffer, what's wrong with God? Exactly. What, what, what kind of God would let me suffer this way? Whether it's a small thing or, or a large thing, mm -hmm. but we, we see in His wisdom, He's training us. This, this mm -hmm. is a spiritual exercise, mm -hmm. and we're supposed to use our spiritual muscles. Mm -hmm. It's funny, in the physical world, we have no problem with this, um, the need to uh, condition ourselves, and if we're going to run a marathon, you have to be running you know, miles and miles. Mm -hmm for months, not That's right away. Right. Work and, out. and so the mm -hmm. same way in the spiritual order that the crosses that we bear right now are not an indication that the Father has abandoned us, abandoned us but, but quite the contrary, mm -hmm. that He's really there helping us to train. Mm -hmm. And a mother wouldn't put her child down and tell him to walk a block if he hadn't, didn't know how to walk. We've been prepared. Right. So we're talking about suffering and Jesus makes no qualms about the fact that his friends will suffer and lay apostles will suffer mm -hmm. and the mode of how we're supposed to respond to that and the continuation of um, an ongoing realization that each of these sufferings translates into souls and each of these sufferings keeps us close to Jesus at the same time it's a great mystery it allows us to join Jesus in his passion that's what we all want to do right. console him in his passion right. mm -hmm. so Part of lay apostolate, suffer, walk with Jesus, mm -hmm. save souls. Mm -hmm. Well, we pray that, again, this will lead us to a deeper living of lay apostolate, a deeper participation in this rescue mission for souls. Thank you, Anne. Mm -hmm.